Greetings. Um, welcome once again to uh, my episode. Uh, this week I'm kind of, uh, sorry, <clears throat> a little bit off because, well, most I kind of got like a flu or something. Weird enough, it's happening, it's happened today on Saturday and it's getting worse, a little bit worse, but I think I'm fighting off a little bit. But anyways, I just want to take a little bit, I just want to take this video in a little different direction this week. Since, as I mentioned last week, how this week that has gone, this week Wednesday was my birthday. And I did like the review on the f of like um treats, the like, empire box. This week I actually want to do something on more legit sweets, especially like candies and chocolate. And the first thing I just want to show you, and actually in certain ways, some of these are actually like my first time actually trying them. Some of them, not all of them. Some of them I actually nibble on show the day, the weeks. Well, some of them I haven't even tried up until now, to be quite honest. And this is one of the first ones right here. Lipperm. Uh, Pocky. One of these. If you watch different animes like I do, <coughs> you might probably notice this already. One of our first little sweets here is actually Pocky. Even though this is technically made in... Where was it made in? Oh, Thailand. Right here it shows it. Focus. Thank you. It's made in Thailand, but somehow it's become almost like a Japanese staple and also an anime staple. There are actually different variations of Pocky from the iconic chocolate. One red box to strawberry to mint to whatever, and I actually got this like many months ago, and I actually saved this just for like a good occasion. And I see like, why not a bear? Why not now? Besides what needs to get spoiled, so let's try to open it. <coughs> Come on, open. Might be eating these for a while, or maybe spinning this up. Who knows? Ah, maybe after eating this, I'll become anime. <clears throat> I wish I could just open the box regular so I never have to rip it. Ah, here we go. Ah, ooh, look how these are look. How these look nice, thick form. Mm. Looks very freshly baked. Mmm, smells really strawberry. Actually, I actually have to mention strawberry is actually one of my favorite flavors. I'm surprised this kept long, keep long in the box. Let's try it. Mmm, 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 more. Mmm. OMG, I see why the Japanese love these shits. <clears throat> yeah, very, very good. Very soft. Crispy? Oh, yeah, okay. Mm. I'll wait till I become anime. Next thing we have on the list is something that I got like a few like, during back in April. These Palmer's. Palmer's candies. Cookies and cream Easter. These are not really bad, I actually eat these for throughout the months. They just look like regular Easter eggs, actually the outer design have like a floral pattern. I hard to tell what it, the camera focusing. It's kind of so hard to see in the camera. But it's just basically your standard cookies and cream chocolate. Uh, your cookies and cream chocolate. Very nice, very sweet. Mm. 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 This one point out I I actually got this today. It looks like they are the chocolate, but this is actually a different one that even is not seen in Belize as yet. Palmer chocolate covered pretzel Easter egg. 
why my friend actually got this for me today. You don't really know I have a show, but I figured best if I show this on the show. I want to see how it looks and I actually want to see if it tastes good. More likely you should palm my chocolates. I've tried these before. They're actually really really nice. Mm. Well, there's a pretzel. I was more hoping for like a like a chop, like a round ball or something. But can't complain. Five for three. Then we have a actually Kit Kat. These are actually on sale right now. This is not the sale price. Salted caramel swell, but I actually tried these many months ago and still delicious. This was actually from a couple of months ago, but it's really nice, salty, sweet. You usually get what you pay for, and this is actually your know, choco milk swirl. I actually want to try this one, I haven't tried this one. Yet. They still sell these, they, each, they even sell the dark on. The white chocolate, which I've never really got to try. Oh my. I forget I actually had. I'm guessing the milk or something. Mink. Choco. Choco milk. Mm. I don't know why people always complain about this stuff. They're actually nice. People say, oh, they chuck. Chocolate mint stuff always tastes like toothpaste, but they don't. Actually, tastes nice. I like this one. Listen, mm. 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 let's see if I have anything new here. That's good. I'll show you how these look on the inside. The caramel ones are really interesting. Nice, salted. Actually, this almost like a browner version to the green one. I like the swirl of it. Kind of a little bit remind me of like wood or something. Mm. 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 Nice crunch. The chocolate is nice. Oh god, nice caramel too. Not much hint on the saltness. They almost have like a. I don't know if it's like a pork flavor. <laughs> Imagine if we eat with the chocolate and taste the pork. No mental. Mm. There's one more thing I want to show you, which I actually have from. Wow. It's one of these. I know I mentioned these before. I'm, I review a few episodes of it, but I want to mention these because these were originally going at 99 cents, believe at a local grocery store. But the thing is, they stopped selling these. I guess with the whole 99 cents deal, because these are really good for 99 cents, uh, they're none of these. I actually hold, I'm holding the last one in my hand. And I'm kind of fearful for eating. I don't know not why, but. But these are the ones that are on sale. Not really much different from the old one, except these are selling at one thirty-five a piece, which normally goes for two fifteen a piece. Not really bad. This, you can say, this is more of a theme Kit Kat type of review. But nevertheless, a nice little review. You get your lot. Kit Kat has always been my favorite from since I was very small. Mm. I'm still eating mint one now, but I don't know why, but no, it's very so good. But people always talk by about Kit Kat. Like being things like pro Zionists and whatnot. I know I'm getting a little political here, but in the end, I can't do. Really 
Блин. Can we go play or get cut work and not enjoy them or something? Because Kit Kat, in terms of the international brand of Nestle, is a really good one. So there is actually two kind of Kit Kat company. The two companies that actually owns Kit Kat. In Belize, in terms of Belize, Canada, UK, and basically everywhere else in the world, it's manufactured and owned by the Nestle company. But yet, in America, the Kit Kat company is under a small group of candy makers that is actually owned by the the Hershey's Kisses, the Hershey's company. I mean, Hershey's Kisses, <laughs> and they're the one that actually responsible for the um Kit Kat company. Um, make guys me up there, and I noticed that they don't really have much of um variety. Unlike the Kit Kat for international, especially if you've been on the internet, you've seen like pictures and other stuff from Nihon, Japan. We don't even have stuff like sake flavored Kit Kat, strawberry flavored Kit Kat, even corn flavored Kit Kat. I don't know how the hell you try it. Enjoy that, but apparently they do like it. Um, This is kind of like a short review, mostly on my take my ideas on this stuff that I have actually wanted to do a review on for a while. I actually had my friend um, on Google Plus named Sam Giz. Yeah, I hope I'm pronouncing it correct. I don't really know her name. I only know her name by um, by her profile name. And she actually suggested to do a Pokemon boot. Like, um, Review, which believe believe me, I really, really, really want to do one. But unfortunately, I don't really have much of the supply. I actually used one of the Pokemon items weeks before the one with the Pokemon, which I still love for some reason. But in terms of other Pokemon related stuff, I still have the some cars, the Lego pieces. Yeah, there's actually like Pokemon Legos out. Depending on which part we're in, but I, but in my opinion, I really want to get more Pokemon related stuff. I even have like I guessing like an official Pokemon product, but it's more like a bubble toy from some unknown company that is basically known for making Pokemon origami paper. But anyways. If I do get the chance to actually get like more Pokemon stuff, or if you could send me some Pokemon stuff, even at, even though I understand you can't, that will actually make a great video. And I actually have some different ideas going around that I really, really want to try, but in terms of money and time, it's hard to get that, especially with the, 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 the current strain that I have that book that YouTube have me on. I can only record less than 15 minutes of video. But hopefully maybe we'll find for sign some stuff and whatnot. Maybe I'll get a chance to do more longer videos and show these contents. You can also say this is also like a talk <laughs> this video is also like talking about future plans and whatnot. I actually do these in every video but I really, really don't want to try excuse to eat all these candies. They're really, really good. And I really wish I could share these with you guys. And in a way, you could say this is kind of like an official show, even though she didn't really send me anything or do anything much except watch these videos. I've been a big fan of it. I've been a really good friend. I just really want to give this opportunity to give a show to Sam Giz from Google Plus. I hope that even though she's at Comic Con right now, I hope that when she does come back online and being able to see this, I hope she'll be able to see this. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching my videos. Victor Cohen signing off until next week. So see ya. Sayonara.